is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Cat's gone. There was a cat directly below me. It disappeared, man. It's gone. I wonder where it went. Well, he made it to shore. I don't know how to tame a cat. I have no idea. So I don't know if I'll even bother with it, quite frankly. I don't, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Mark McCauley just sent me a dollar. He says, I would be interested in buying your Wolverine figure if you still have it. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this is great! Oh my god! No, I have not had the Wolverine figure in quite some time, Mark. I have no idea what ever happened to it. All the Ash figures and shit, at one point I just gave this stuff away. In fact, it was funny. Someone was actually trying to help me rearrange my office on, on my website, the kingofhate.com forums. Someone had posted up an idea to rotate all my shit around. So, like, my TV... Where did they say my TV would be? Over here, I think. I would be sitting over here against the wall so I would have room for a green screen. And then, like, my PC and stuff would be right here where I'm sitting now. So I said, that's fine, except there's one problem. My air conditioner has to be in front of the window. And it would literally be blowing not only on me, but all my equipment, like my laptop and everything, nonstop during the hotter months of the year. And it would basically make me cold, and it would damage the equipment, so I couldn't do that. That's actually why I where I am, because the air conditioner is there, and it's maximum distance from where I'm sitting, so that way it's not blowing directly on me. Um, Alright, so anyway. Lala Rens Shears said, reminder to make Chaz a mod, and the answer is no, never. Absolutely not. Wouldn't cold air be good for the computer? Yes, it's good to be in a, an air-conditioned room. No, it is not good for the air conditioner to be blowing directly on the computer. I know this for a fact. You know, keep in mind the fact that I've said numerous times that in the early 2000s to mid-2000s, I built gaming PCs for a hobby. I once had a LAN set up in my parents' house for games such as Unreal Tournament and Quake, and I loved doing it. So I know all about it, and I know how it works, right? I used to be in that group of people who I wanted to play everything on PC. Like, I, I used to be one of you. No. Fuck you. You're a liar. You know, I'm a simple guy. I'm a gamer. I'm not a techie. I'm not a fucking guy that knows all the ins and outs of this shit. You're, like, talking to a, a lay person. You're talking to a gamer. You're not talking to an editor. You're not talking to a PC you know, builder. You're not talking to a techie guy. You're talking to a guy who just wants to sit down, press record, play a game, and have fun. Right? That it would actually... Like, right now, if the air conditioner was right here blowing directly on my laptop, that's bad. That could cause, uh, actually, the components to chill and freeze, and also cause moisture inside of the laptop. So both are bad. Um... It, yes, you're supposed to keep, you know, things like computers or whatever in, in an air-conditioned environment in the summer, but you're not supposed to have it blowing directly on it. I'm being racist by not letting Kazatov be a mod. I don't even know what race Kazatov is, stupid. Like, I am a nasty or toxic person all the time. Phil is a toxic, nasty person all the time. There's no actual positive value in anything he does. I literally have no idea what any of you guys look like. How can I possibly know what race he is and be racist? <laughs> How stupid. That's right, Billy and Tufug. I used to say I was a good singer back in the day. Bow to cock, smack your neighbor in the face with it. If they say stop it, just ignore them and keep on slapping. <laughs> Remember, yes means no and no means yes. I suspected you were sexist. Grab a girl, don't wait.
That's right, see guys, grab a girl and don't wait. Take their virginity without permission, rip off the pants, and get to your mission. <laughs> You know, I used to be a good singer when I was younger. I'm not a good singer anymore. I don't sing regularly at all. And since I do this full time, now my voice is pretty messed up. Because I'm talking all day every day now. Slacy Tron asked, would you ever win a DSP museum? If so, what would be in it? Well, of course, we'd have entire wings dedicated to the, the big franchises that I love the most. Like Street Fighter and the RPG wing with my favorite RPGs of all time. Playing clips of my favorite play video game playthroughs of RPGs. So we'd have different genres and segments. We'd have the vlogging room. We walk in and it plays the various different vlogs that have happened on funny journeys and things that I've had over the years. Um, and we can, you know what? We can even have the Hall of Detractors, where the biggest and baddest detractors over the years are highlighted for the infamous deeds that they did. And then we'll have the big where are they now to show what fucking losers they ended up being after all of that. It'd be great. All that. How about that? That'd be great. The DSP Museum must happen one day. A whole two people will visit it. Me and my mom. <laughs> <laughs> laugh, 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 joke, joke, rage, rage, laugh, 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 joke, joke, rage, rage. How will you be remembered to me a dollar? I says, when people bring up O.J. Simpson, the first thing people think about is the murders. Not that he was the greatest tailback in NFL history. All his records and accomplishments are not remembered. What do you say people will think when they bring up DSP? Do you know there's like a guy in uh, our group right now who's like streaming this whole thing? He's sort of like semi-famous. Oh, I yeah, I think that's Dark Side Phil. He I'm was the guy that got caught for masturbating in front of children. Yeah, oh, yeah so he, he was caught masturbating. I think he's like 35 <laughs> years old. Oh my god. Yeah, he was masturbating in front of children. That's on right. YouTube yeah. live stream. Hilarious. He's like he's a, he's a pervert or something. I think he's a that's pervert. That's right, I'm a huge something. pervert, guys. That's all I do. I just masturbate constantly in front of children. You're absolutely right. That's <laughs> what I'm known caught. for. You got exposed for doing that. That's, I got pro that's completely like... exposed. Absolutely. Yeah, you did. You didn't even know the camera was on. You know every inch of my dick and balls. Are you the guy? Are you the guy? You know every inch of my dick and balls. It's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that got caught, Matt? Yes! Really? He was the guy that got caught masturbating in front of children. I think he's I'm like 30. That's he's like in his 30s right or now. something. He's in his 30s and he did that in front of children. That's right. Yes. I, but I'm, I've seen so purpose. much. I'm, I'm a fan. Right. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it all depends. It all depends. It depends on who they are. For people who are actually longtime fans of viewers of my content, they'll think about their favorite moments. What's what's DSP's favorite moment? The heavy rain playthrough. This moment, that moment. You see what I mean? For people who only know me from stupid shit like the incident, they'll remember the incident. From people who are my detractors, they'll remember all kinds of fucked up shit that they made up over the years. That I'm a beggar, and I'm a thief, and I'm this, and I'm that. So it all depends on your perspective of who you are, and how you actually have a relationship to me. That will determine how you remember me. And that's the goddamn honest truth. Now, one thing you gotta re realize, you know, how will you be remembered? You know, O.J. Simpson, you know, for all intents and purposes, the reason people remember him for it is because he was tried and the consensus kind of is that he committed murder, all right? It's never been 100% proven in a court of law, but kind of the consensus of popular belief is he committed murder. That's pretty much one of the worst, if not the worst thing you can do in life is to take another life. Um, accidentally masturbating off camera because anything that was bad was off camera on a stream where there was like a hundred people on it and that's the truth is there were only about not even a hundred people it was on pre-streams or there was under a hundred people at the time um actually watching it um with no audio and only seeing my face is nowhere near the level of what oj simpson is accused of doing i hate to say for all those who would like to believe it is it's nowhere near that caliber uh at all so, they're not even a, a similar comparison. It's a completely stupid thing to even say. Oh, will you be remembered like O.J. Simpson? No, that's dumb. And that's a really, really dumb thing to fucking say like that. So, so there you go. Wow, Phil. You know, you really have a bad rep because of these nasty things you've done on the internet. Right. Timo Slice says there's worse things on TV. Dude, there's way worse things on TV. Why do you think it's so hilarious when people say... Oh, Phil, I can't believe that he, that Phil is still allowed on the internet after what he did. Are you dumb? All it was was my face making faces with no audio. That's all you saw. My face making faces with no fucking audio. Nothing was shown that's not even P-fucking-G rated. Seriously, like, 
Is it embarrassing? Yes. But it's not anything to do with, like, ser something serious, like, oh my god, there was nudity and there was, like, real disgusting sexual content. None, none of that happened at all. And the idiots that say shit like, oh my god, Phil should be banned from the internet. You're a fucking moron. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. Listen, since then, I came back to Twitch. I do Twitch full-time. Right? I'm still allowed to upload to YouTube. I'm still allowed to go on Twitter or social media because I didn't do anything wrong at all. Splashed, and then it got on my hand. So my hand's like sticky, and it fucking splashed all over me. What the hell? It seriously, and splashed all over my face and my pants. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. Okay, hold on. Drying myself off here. What the shit? Fucking exploded all over me. Jesus Christ. Okay. <sighs> Alright, I'm all right. I'm okay now. <laughs> I've, I've dried myself off. This thing goes whoosh, all over me. Okay. It was a silly accident. There's nothing wrong whatsoever with what I did. And the sickos that actually try to lie and say that I was trying to do like public exhibitionism on stream in front of children are sick fucks. That's all they are. They're sick fucks who are lying to try to make me sound bad. And these are the kind of people that sadly get me to lose sponsorship. Why do you think I can't fucking do sponsor streams on Twitch anymore? Ah, the salty tears. Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's, oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Because they went and sp spammed that, those lies, uh, you know, on the social media feeds of things like Ubisoft, you know? So obviously... There is a negative impact when people lie about things and create memes that are untrue. And that's the thing we were just talking about this recently. How, me how are memes hurtful? Because there's a meme out there that something that happened literally didn't happen. You know? And turning something that happened into something that didn't and making people believe it is fucked up. Because now I've lost out on so many opportunities that I should have rightfully have because I what you're saying happened didn't happen. And that's harmful to me, to my business, to my livelihood, to, to my wife, to everyone because you fucked around and lied about me. You know? That's fucked up. Timbo Slice cheered and said, The biggest show in the world right now, Game of Thrones, has naked people all the time, but let's attack a guy that made a face and she saw nothing more than that. Yeah, you didn't even hear anything. It was silent. It was fucking muted. Actually, wasn't it like the PlayStation dashboard music or something? I accidentally forgot to turn off face cam. No, I accidentally had face cam on. Huh? This is not working. What had happened was the face cam had been on the night before for a stream. And I accidentally had left it on, and then I started pre-stream, and yeah, so you guys saw stuff that you weren't supposed to see. It's pretty straightforward what happened. It's stupid as fuck. Uh, how do you be remembered? It says, I never compared you to OJ, I'm just comp comparing the name association. When you say the name OJ automatically equals murder, no one brings up his past years at NFL. What do you think people say when they bring up the name DSP? That was my question. It's like I said, it depends on who you are. Like, viewers who actually watch me for my stuff... And then not because of the memes and because of making fun of me, actually will say, oh, no, I remember that, that fun playthrough that Phil did. This or that, my favorite playthrough. That's what they would say. Um, you know, those who hate me probably wouldn't even say the incident. They would say, oh, you know, when Phil tried to stamp his, his fucking viewers and did this and did that, you know, all the shit that never happened that they make up. Um, and then someone who only knows me from that incident when it went viral would say, oh, that's the guy, you know, who, who had the face cam on during stream and he didn't mean to. So it all depends on who you are and your perspective. Shithead piece of immoral garbage, a morally decrepit toxic turd that breathes, draws breath and sucks the air off the planet where other valid fucking morally, uh, you know, good people want to live. Alright, TG Jake, thanks for the dollar tip. However, doing asshole references to things from my fucking wife's past, like, are really fucked up and initially you know you're a piece of shit for bringing stuff up like that. Like, only an asshole would. And the fact that that's way in the past, it has nothing to do with the present, just shows what a fucking idiot you are. So welcome back to the streams, dickhead! They want salt, I'll give them salt. I'll give them more than they can handle. I got a dollar tip from Epi. He says, how did you feel when Kat chose you? Such a special moment, happy for you. I'm, ass I'm assuming you mean when she said, I do? I mean, it was amazing. I was tearing up, she was tearing up. We were about, you know, we were visibly crying. Um, and it was also awesome to be there, you know, in front of my parents and some of my extended family, who I hadn't seen in a long time. Uh, you know, show up to sh to share the moment with us. It was really, really nice. So. Oh my God, was she beautiful? So beautiful. I I almost cried when I saw her. I was so happy. I was like, "You look so amazing." Um, you know, not to say she doesn't look amazing every day. She's that's one of the things she's good at. 
She's amazing at makeup, amazing at dressing up and looking nice. And I was blown away at how she looked. Cat, you need to get out now. That place is toxic. I'm not sure if I want to get out and walk around. Oh, it's a panda bear. It's the first panda I've seen. Hello. Hello. Hi. I got to say hello to the panda. Hold on. That's the first one I got to see. Hello, panda. Fuck off. Is there a way to feed it? What can I feed it? Tame the panda? How do I tame the panda? What does it eat? But anyway, I need some freaking chocolate. It's got a unique call. That's nice. There's also a pig. Oink, oink, oink. Oh my god! The men have titties too. Fred Flissel wants me to sing Toxic by Britney Spears. Oh my god, what is that? The taste on your lips, I want it all. A toxic, the first to be under. I don't know. You know that you're toxic. Ah. No, I, don't, I really don't know the lyrics to that one. Oh, the taste on your lips is paradise? That's the lyric? I never even do that. Taste on your lips is paradise. But I know that you're toxic. Ha! <laughs> Runs to clip maker. Uzi Jesus, you just unleashed the beast. Unleash the beast. Toxic. Oh. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Oh my god! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! What in the fuck was that, dude? Holy fucking titty twisting what the Oh. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh. Easy to eat. Oh. Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP's a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.